simplify the complex fraction. In the numerator, we have 2 times x to the negative 2 plus y to the negative 2 over, in the denominator, x to the negative 1 minus y to the negative 1. Now, let's start by taking care of those negative exponents. Remember that a negative exponent is going to flip that value into um, its denominator. So this first term in the numerator, write as 2 over x squared. Our second term in the numerator is 1 over y squared. Down to the denominator, x to the negative 1 is 1 over x minus y to the negative 1, which is 1 over y. Now notice that as we take care of those negative exponents, this x to the negative 2 does not come down in our large denominator. Okay? It's not under that term. Okay? Those values get added together. So leave each in its respective location. Now let's simplify that complex fraction by multiplying both numerator and denominator by a lowest common denominator of our minor fractions in here. And that LCD is x squared, y squared. So in the numerator, 2 over x squared plus 1 over y squared will multiply by x squared, y squared. And I like to write that over 1 so I can clearly see where my fraction bars are located. The denominator is 1 over x minus 1 over y. We'll take that also times x squared, y squared, write that over 1. Now let's multiply and cancel common factors as we do this. In the numerator, x squared, y squared times 2 over x squared. Notice our x squareds are going to cancel, leaving 2y squared plus sign in the middle, multiplying times 1 over y squared, the y squareds cancel, leaving x squared. Down to the denominator and multiplying. As we multiply times our first term, the x cancels, leaving x y squared, minus sign in between, x squared y squared times 1 over y, one of those y's will cancel, leaving an x squared y. So we've gotten rid of the complexity of this fraction. As a last step, we might uh, factor things and see if we can cancel any common factors. The numerator, uh, that's prime. It's not factorable. Rewrite it, 2y squared plus x squared. The denominator has a common x and y in both terms, so factor those out. Rewrite the denominator as xy times y minus x to reproduce that denominator. Um, but at this point, uh, we have no common factors. Nothing's going to cancel out, so our correct uh, reduced form is 2y squared plus x squared over the product of xy and y minus x.